Hey there, I'm Michael. Take a seat and I'll teach you how to play Hero Realms by White Wizard Games. When setting up the game, start by having each player choose a colour. They'll then take the two cards for that colour. These are used for tracking your health. At the start of the game, each player will start with 50 health, and then as they take damage, you would mark the singles on the second card. So that would be 45, for example. You'll then also give each player a short sword, a ruby, a dagger, and seven gold cards. The rest of these cards can then go back in the box. Randomly decide your first player, and each player will shuffle their 10 cards as their deck. They'll then draw their starting hand. For the first player, they'll draw three cards. The other players will draw five. Then take all the fire gem cards and set them in the middle of the table in a stack. The remaining cards you will shuffle and place as a draw pile for your market. You then reveal five cards as your market and you are ready to play. The aim of the game is to eliminate your opponents by reducing them to zero health. You'll do this by playing cards on your turn. When you play a card, you gain the effect given on it. So your gold will give you gold into your resource pool, and your dagger and short sword give you attack at the beginning of game. Anything in this cross swords and red shield is attack. Anything in the gold symbol is money to spend on new cards. Gold will enable you to buy cards from the market, and the cost of a card is given in the top right. When you buy a card, it will go to your discard pile, and you will immediately reveal a new card. That is, unless you buy a fire gem, in which case you just take one of the fire gems that are there. And it is possible to buy multiple cards in a turn, even from the same space, as long as you have the gold to do so. And of course, still, revealing new cards as you do. With your attack, you're then able to reduce your opponent's health. So if I did 3 damage to red, he'd be down from 50 to 47. Then, once you have finished playing cards and resolving the effects that they give you, you will discard any cards that are left in your hand. And all cards played except for champion cards, Champion cards I'll explain in a moment. Once you've done this, you'll then draw a new hand of five cards and play passes to the next player. If there were not enough cards to draw a full hand, you would simply shuffle your discard pile to become your new deck and draw from that. So, let's talk about a champion then. What is a champion? Well, you can tell a champion because it will say champion under the name of the card, but also because it will have a shield here. Now, the shields will come in two types, either the white one or the black one with guard written over it. For what we're talking about now, these don't matter, they're the same thing, and I'll talk about the difference in a moment. When you play a champion, it will go down in front of you in your play area. All champions have this arrow next to the effect. That means, to gain the effect, you must activate the card. Once a card has been activated, you need it to refresh before you can use that effect again. And these cards will refresh at the end of your turn. Cards can do a lot of different things, so this one will allow you to take a champion from your discard pile and put it on top of your deck. There's also ability here next to this symbol, and I'll explain that in a minute. That's to do with allies. But first, let's explain the difference between these different colours, the white and the black. You see, to get rid of a champion, you must stun it, and that means doing it enough damage to match the number in the shield. So if I do free damage on this champion here, they would be stunned and placed in the player's discard pile, ready to draw again in a future turn. This one would take four damage. The difference between the black and the white is that I don't have to attack a white champion. I can ignore this champion and attack different champions or attack the player directly. With this guard, I have to take out the guards before I can attack any other champions 
or the player directly. If there are multiple guards, I can choose which guard I am targeting. Let's now talk about ally abilities, which are the ones with the symbols here. You see, the game has four different factions, yellow, red, blue, and green, and they have a different symbol for each. The ally ability will be triggered when you play another card of that faction. So if I also played this red card here, I would get both of these ally abilities. The order you play the cards does not matter. The fact that this was already down and then I played this still causes the previous one to trigger as well as the current one. The other symbol you see here is a trash symbol. That means you must sacrifice this card, thereby destroying it and not being able to use it again in the game to gain that effect. You'll notice a lot of these cards have other effects on them. For the most part, I won't explain these as the text does it for you. Here, this one says about sacrificing a card that's in your hand or discard pile. That means you destroy it, removing it from the game. I will explain anything with this green symbol here, this like green flask with a number in. That means it heals you by that amount. So in this case, if I use this card, I would gain two health. So if I was on 50 health, I would go to 52 health. Depending on what game mode you're playing will depend on when the game will finish, but most times it's to do with eliminating opponents. If you're the only one left, you'll definitely be the winner. When someone goes to zero health, they are out of the game and unable to play anymore, and typically that will allow you to win. And that is how you play Hero Realms. I do hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, as well as sharing and subscribing to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.